What's up guys, you're by Voice from Miss back with another video. Hope you are having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the only thing I hate about Susua slash the Dominican Republic. As y'all know, I'm in the Dominican Republic now for some time. And I love it. I love it. I really do love it. But I just want to talk about the, the only thing that I, I don't like, you know, that, you know, I don't like that. I just don't like the way how they try to finesse you, like the locals. They are, just because you're, you know, a gringo, you're a foreigner, they always try to up the price, you know, that's the only thing I don't like, you know, like, listen, let me tell y'all, a most of country charged me 200 US dollars, I ain't paid it though, but he charged me that, he wanted me to pay that, I had it, I had it, like, you know, like, I had it, uh, I was arguing with him, you know, because he was chatting bullshit to me, listen, I came off the bus, you know, this is the carry bus tools. I'm gonna do a video up talking about that too. But the carry bus tools, I came off that bus stop and I wanted to go to the beach, which is like four minutes away from the bus stop. So he took me to the beach, right? And he was like, wait, no, I lied. He took me to a spot to charge my phone for us. I was um like a minute from the beach. So he took me there, he charged my, I charged my phone just to get my location. You know, so I could know which part of the beach I'm going. And yeah, then he came to the beach. So I stayed by this 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 little this um little um this little hotel area. Not hotel, but you know, just a house. Yeah, that's next to the beach. I stayed there for probably ten minutes, you know. So yeah. He he stayed with me and then he carried me to the beach. So he he probably spent 15 minutes with less than 15 minutes with me right so when i got to the beach i was like how much for it how much how much how much how much how much, how much? he told me 200 dollars i was like what the fuck? i was like what the Cause I, 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 I already told him from the start too i wasn't from here i'm just i, I just came i just came you know it's too sore i just came this is so you know and he know um a father and stuff like that so he charged me two hundred dollars, and I was like, "What the hell?" I I I've been in Susua before, and I, I ain't paid no more to control two hundred dollars, not even a hundred dollars, you know. But the motor controls are expensive though. But two hundred dollars—that's way too expensive. That's ten thousand pesos. Motor controls usually go from four hundred to five hundred, four hundred to six hundred dollars, you know. He charged me two hundred dollars, and I was like, "This dude is crazy," you know, but. I said I can't give you two hundred dollars, and he was you know this and that and this and that. So I pulled up a thousand dollars and I gave him, and he was no two thousand dollars. So I was like, what the hell? So you know what? I gave him five hundred more dollars, and we were there arguing, and then he just went. <laughs> <laughs> so I paid a thousand five pesos from the bus stop to the beach. I stopped to charge my phone though, but that ain't it wasn't much time, you know. It ain't it wasn't much time. Listen, um, a couple of days ago, I was in um, Puta Plata and a motor control stayed with us for literally 20 minutes because we ran out of gas with our bike. And he stayed for, with us for 20 minutes and we gave him less than 600, 600 pesos. So even if that, even if, you know, y'all say the motor control stayed with me, you know, to catch my wife and charge my phone. That's why he charged that much. Hell no, two hundred dollars, just for ten minutes. Two hundred dollars? No, come on. A motor control stay with us and put the and put the platter for like twenty minutes. You know, cause we were going to gas and our oh, bike. When we put back in the gas, the bike wasn't starting, so he was trying to help us and stuff like that. But yeah, that's the only thing I hear about the Dominican Republic. These people be trying to finesse you all the time like, i got so many stories i can talk about you know people just trying to finish because they know i don't speak spanish and they know i'm a foreigner they always try to finish you listen right i bought a patty that was yesterday i bought a patty right this this i don't even know the name of it but it's like a patty kind of you know pastry from this dude on the roadside right so i gave him two thousand pesos you know the dude gave me back five hundred dollars i was like what 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 was what? what 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 i was like questioning him like what 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 then he started putting more money in my hand he put he put 500 more then i was like what what he was slow he was watching me like 
Like, like what, 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 how much is this? They know I was questioning. Then he put a thousand more in my hand. So if I didn't question the money he gave me, he he would have ripped me off. I gave him two thousand pesos, and he only gave me back five hundred. So that means I spent a thousand five. Fuck, I spent a thousand five pesos on a fucking little ass patty. Oh, what the fuck? I was like. I was like, hell no, nah, I can't let it slide. And I was so irritated because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being finessed. But such is life, you know. I should expect this, you know. I should expect this. It's just, you know. So you got to expect things like this to happen when you come to Susuo. People will try to finesse you, but yeah. Don't let them finesse you. Like, you got to, sometimes you got to act like you know what's going on. Like, you know, it's like, I, I paid this for this. I know this is this. You know, you got to act like you know what's going on. Even though you don't know, just act like you know so they don't finesse you. Because imagine spend, if I had spent $200 on a motor console just to drop me over there. That's, that's, that's a rip off, y'all. That's, that's big time rip off. So, yeah, don't get finessed. You know, I just want to give y'all a quick video about something i hate about the dominican republic in Susu. but yeah if you like this video make sure you leave a like and make sure you leave a comment it's your boy watching minutes <laughs>